Dr. Warren would always do as much work as I gave him. So I could take all the samples from the patients and interview the patients. Uh, no matter how many biopsies I gave them, he would always look at them. So he also was working very late and uh, used to do a qu a quite a lot of overtime and late nights uh, when we were doing that original research. But in those days, you know, it was blinded. So uh, I had to do the clinical side, but I was not allowed to find out if the, ba if the patient had the bacteria. So Dr. Warren, he knew the real truth. And sometimes I would give him some ideas or throw out some theories and he would sort of sort of like, hmm. he would know what the answer was because he was uh, seeing the biopsies. So it's quite a funny relationship, but that's, that's how it has to be done. Uh, if you have a clinical impression, the, in, uh, naturally you, you're biased against your theory, you see. And so that it's much better if there is somebody else independent from you who's gonna make the decision on whether or not the helicobacter is the problem in that particular patient. And so by doing that, we had a, a good scientific uh, process going on from the very start. And we didn't have to worry about other people's opinions because we had done the experiments and tested these ideas uh, ourselves. And so we became very, very confident.